Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston, Massachusetts for the POW Super Show, the first one after resolution, and here comes your history making, first POW World Champion, the SCAT, and if you did not see resolution on Sunday night, April the 3rd, let's take, here's a look at what happened for the SCAT to win that title. Oh, it's one! Oh, the scout brings it up for the second one hit. Spinning forearm! That could be it! One, two, three! It is! The unthinkable has been done! Prop so, as you saw there, the scout used the speed and his cheekiness and smartness to win that match. Let's see what he's out here to say tonight. Last night, on the grandest stage of them all, you all witnessed just how great I am. I made history and became the first P.O.W. World Champion. I beat Balls McCraw and JBPAFC, who are both much bigger than me, yet clearly I was much smarter. Hold a minute, we're hearing some music. It looks like JBPSE's heard enough. He was in that match. He didn't get pinned. It looks like he's not happy with what the scat is saying. He's coming out. He means business. Let's get straight to it. Let's see what JBPSE has to do with interrupting the world champion, the scat. Let's just make one thing clear here. You may have won that world title last night in a match that I was part of, but you certainly did. Not beat me. You're out here running your mouth about how great you are. Prove it. May 1st. Aftermath. Me versus you for that P O W world title. You know what, JBPFC? You're right. I didn't beat you. But you certainly didn't win either. Now you think you come out here, ruin my celebration, and demand a title shot? I'm not going to just give you... It looks like the general manager of the POW universe has heard enough. The music hits and out comes Mr. Payne. We've not seen him in a couple of weeks, but it looks like he's had enough of all this chit-chat and he's coming out to resolve this situation between the SCAT, the world champion, and JB. PSC who feels he deserves a title match at the next pay-per-view, which is Aftermath on May the 1st. The Scat's not willing to give it to him just like that. So here comes Mr. Payne. Can he get this issue resolved? We're about to find out. Actually, Scat, that is what's going to happen. You see, JBPFC didn't lose in that title match, so therefore... He is the number one contender for your title, and you will face him at Aftermath. So get prepared for your first title defense in four weeks' time at Aftermath. Also coming tonight is a fatal four-way P 
POW Hardcore Title Match. See, last night at Resolution, the ladder match wasn't right for the Hardcore Title. So, young blood, you're defending it again tonight. Good luck. Well, there you have it, four weeks' time. The Scat will face JB PFC in a title match. But also tonight, we have a fatal four-way hardcore title. Defense by Youngblood. Big news. Let's get this tonight underway. As we just heard there from Mr. Payne, we're having a fatal four-way with POW hardcore title. And here is the champion, Young Blood, as he looks set to defend his title to the times lights running. But he did it at Resolution. Now he's doing it on the PLW Super Show. Resolution was in the ladder match. And let us show you what happened there now. Young Blood throws Mark Mine out of the ring. This is his chance. He's got the ladder. This could be it. Middle of the ring. Young Blood's climbing, he's not tired. He's about to retain the hardcore title. Mark Mike's getting up. He hasn't got enough time. Young Blood defends. So, as you saw, Young Blood won in that ladder match, making quick work of his opponent to regain that title. But now we're about to find out who he's facing in his final four way match. We're hearing that it's now a no. A false count anywhere match, sorry. So who gets this amazing opportunity tonight on the first POW Super Show after Resolution? It's Kaiser. First of the opponents for Youngblood. He's got an opportunity to really make a name for himself. And grab that hardcore title away from Youngblood. He gets in the ring. Not even looking at young blood. He knows what opportunity he's got. The crowd are on their feet. They're ready for a match. So who's next in this fatal four-way? I think the crowd's been optimistic with a scream for me shirt there. Last oh, none other than Tom freaking Kushney. Here he is, he's not been in the show for a couple of weeks. But he's been given this opportunity to grab his first title in the POW universe. He's lucky to get the hardcore title. But he's got to defeat the champion Youngblood, Kaiser. And one other opponent, we're yet to find out who it is. It's Kushni's in the ring. He's looking pumped, he's looking excited. Who is the final competitor in this match? You can't hear it, but the music hits. And out comes Chris Flynn. Oh my God. Dominant Flynn. Should powerhouse his way in recent weeks on the Super Show. Monday Night Wars, the first night beatdown. This got a real kick in the teeth for the champion and the other opponents. Chris Flynn is hard hitting. He's gonna look to try and end this match quickly. But I've realised, doing a fatal full way Fools count anywhere match. This match could be a very slow motion match with the all go on the outside. As the computer can't handle four people on the outside of the ring all at once. With the referee as well. So we'll see how it goes. But all four competitors here, the hardcore titles on the line. 
Will Young Blood be champion by the end of this match? We'll find out next. So here we go, the crowd taking their feet. There's the title. Who's gonna go after who? So here we go, we're underway. As Tom Christie gets a drop hit, Chris Finch goes straight outside. He's going oh, he knows what he wants to do. The half ball match, he's got a steel chair. Who's he going after? He went after Kaiser. Kaiser reverse. Tom Christie from Jumblin outside. But at the moment the speed's okay. As Kaiser goes to work on Chris Flynn on the inside. Jumblin could push it onto the barricade. Christie reverses and over to the back. What a move by Christie. Kaiser worked on the arm of Flynn on the inside of the ring. Kicks to the cut by Kushni and again. Ducks into the clothesline. What a move to Kushni again. Taking full control of the champion. Kaiser's got Flynn on the inside. Oh, what a power slam there by Kaiser. Youngblood, net breaker on Kushni. Tim on the outside. Referee's gone out. Now we're going slow motion. One. Oh, he only got a slow one count there. Everyone's on the outside, apart from the referee. This is where the match becomes slow motion, look. Game can't handle it. Snake eyes there by Flynn. We're about to see the slowest match in hardcore history. If we all stay on the outside of the ring. Kaiser. Rushing leg sweep there. To Chris Flynn. Christy picks up Youngblood. Kaiser's gone for the pin. Rest on the outside. One. Two. Christy missed him twice. Flynn kicked up. Just see what Youngblood does with his first with a whisper in the wind. As we've done the inside of the ring. We try to use something else to end the match. Kaiser's back in the ring. Youngblood trying to get a sneaky pin. Flynn's in the ring. The referee's back in the ring and we're speeding up a bit. As Chris Flynn locks in. He's going for a submission. That is just right reading right the arm out of socket. The jump blood was cushioned me onto the barricade. Flynn's got the steel chair. Here he goes, the weapons are in force. Oh, it's an RKO by Cushney. It could be all over on the outside. One, two, young blood kicked out. Flynn's got the chair off Kaiser. Kaiser's reversed. Suplex. Tom Green because he's got the champion reeling. Oh, it's my tough moment. Fair crown on my young blood. Flynn hitting Kaiser. One. Two. Cushiony kicked out. Referee's back in. Flynn getting young blood back in the ring. Flynn's back in the ring. Everyone's back in the ring. Spinning hook hit by Kaiser. Goes to the pin. One, two. Kushney kicked out. Kaiser snap there. Flynn going after young blood. Tilt the world. Reverse by young blood. The DDT. Kaiser's got Kushney. Youngblood distracted. The arms are hooked. 
Double on the board by her. Young for Dante Tess, it could be all over. Pinball. One, two, three. No! Three, it was three. His hand did hit the floor. Oh, controversy. I didn't know if he counted three or not. Your new P O W hardcore champion is none other than Kaiser. What an opportunity he was given tonight. We went through slow motion periods. But in the end, Kaiser picks up the victory by hitting the double R pole driver in the middle of the ring. Has become your next P O W hardcore champion after Youngblood was on the outside of the ring distracted. We just watched the highlights here. Here we go. See Kaiser setting up. It's all Youngblood fully focused on the outside of Flynn. Kaiser hit the double arm pile driver on Tom freaking Kushney. Just watch the referees count here because I'm not sure he hit the three. One, two, three. He did. He did hit the three. So here's your look at the new P O W Hardcore Champion Kaiser. Big match. What a night for Kaiser. Let's see what he does for this hardcore title in the POW universe on the POW Super Show. We're here word that up next we have Nathaniel Blackwell, the POW Intercontinental Champion, coming out to address the crowd. So after that incredible hardcore title match, here comes Nathaniel Blackwell, the POW Intercontinental Champion, still with his belt. After a resolution where he defended it in a TLC match. He climbed that ladder first. He got that belt. He's still your champion. And it looks like he's coming out to address the universe. And what he has planned next for that Intercontinental title. The crowd are excited. Blackwell looks confident after that victory on the grandest stage of them all. Let's see what he's got to say. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. At Resolution, I retain my Intercontinental title in TLC match. Tonight, I'm offering a non-title open challenge. Come out if you've got any guts. Well, there you go, he's issued an open challenge to anybody in the back in a non-title match. Let's see who answers that call. When the music hits, it's going to be the real show stealer. The man, the only one. It's Harry Bain from the Alliance. But here he is. We know he likes to steal the show, and it looks like what he's going to do tonight. He's accepted a non-title open challenge match against the champion. Looking to make a name for himself. Let's see what happens here. And he's in the ring. He's looking confident. Blackwell there, ready. The referee's so here the match is underway. Blackwell's gone straight in there with a compound of slam. Big move from the off. He looks like he's trying to get early control of Harry Bain here. So he picks him up. Harry reverses. Looks like Harry's just trying to get a little ahead of Steve here. 
What's Harry doing? He's going for it early on. Harry hitting his finisher. So early on. But it looks like he's just made a statement to be the Colonel Champion. What a statement from the challenger there, Harry Bain. Let's see what he's got to say to the Colonel Champion. After that, it looks like he's got something to talk about. Over to you, Harry Bain.